Hey everybody, Kevin here with Montagical Multimedia coming at you with a new Adobe Photoshop CS4 tool tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Magic Wand tool and the Quick Selection tool. They are basically the same tool, uh, just with different methods of using it and selecting objects and whatnot. And I'm also going to be showing you how to move one aspect of a photo to another photo, which is kind of hard to explain, but you'll see. And I've already kind of made a tutorial about that, but it doesn't hurt to use more than one method. Now, does it, folks? No, it does not. So, kind of a double whammy there for you. Please do not mind my messy desktop. This is for something else. Don't worry about it. So, okay, we're going to pop up, pop up uh, Photoshop here. And uh, obviously, you can see this is like that scandalous photo of Senator McCain over here. He is quite the wacky fellow. And what we are going to be doing or I'm going to be doing rather, maybe you might do something different, is we are going to select his pretty little head here and we are going to move it over to another image and you'll see that uh, when we do that. So, we are going to crop the, the image first really quickly just because um, it makes it much easier to work with and uh, we're just going to crop around his head. It's much easier to work with doing it this way because with the magic wand tool you would have to shift uh, select all this stuff and it's just a hassle so just for time's sake I mean you could do it if that w that way if you want but it's kinda counterintuitive and it's kinda pointless so we are going to start with our magic wand tool or W on the keyboard and make sure you have the magic wand tool selected you could use the quick selection tool if you really wish to but uh, what I uh, say for this tool is it's kinda just like a brush version of the the wand tool and it's better for just making like quick adjustments but magic wand tool I'm gonna use because it has a more general feel to it and I like it and it's pretty cool and it has a cool name so to start off we're just gonna click on uh, we're gonna start inversely actually we're not gonna select his head we're gonna select everything around it then we're gonna inverse what we have selected so um, we're just gonna click on the outside and as you can see that pretty much gets a good generalization of the background of what we selected so and make sure your tolerance is uh, rather high if you and depending on your image you might want to experiment with this but I had 70 I had just have mine at 75 I know it didn't start like that so I, I actually raised it quite a bit but this is what worked really good for me so uh, now obviously we don't want to have this part in what we're selecting so we are going to hold down shift and click on his suit and what that is it's gonna add to the selection what we have already so um, we have a little bit of unselected thing here so we're just gonna press shift and click on that and maybe you might want to zoom in because there are some bits that aren't visible to the naked eye as you may say and we are going to just zap those out of the area because nobody likes them and they're pretty awful Sometimes these little, they can these little monsters. They could be pretty, pretty tough to get. But uh, so I have the general, general idea of this head here uh, picked out. That's just what I'm going to use today. I don't have that much time, obviously. Oh my God, he's getting bigger. Okay. Now, when you have your wand tool selected and you have everything that ready to go, and you have what you want not selected I guess you would call it um, you're going to right click and go to select inverse and what that's gonna do is just select the inverse of what you had selected so we just have his head now and we can just go to our move tool over here and oh my god what happened to your head McCain seems you have gone can't think of a good think of a good pun right now, so I'm gonna leave that one up to you. Um, as you can see, we didn't get very much of his tongue. I don't know why that is because when I was testing this earlier, it did. But we are just gonna work with this right now because uh, of lack of time. I think I had my tolerance too high actually, but that's fine. We're just gonna work with this, and we're gonna drag in our other image, which we're gonna drag our, their head into. Oh my goodness, where is it going? 
And uh, as you can see, a beautiful spread of vegetables and tasty delights that are good for you. And we are going to move that image into our current project, which is going to make a little side window. And go back to our original image and just drag it on and paste it. <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty funny without that little portion of tongue there. Um, just gonna uh, wait. No, I can just leave it like that. And we're just gonna have McCain hovering over here, like, oh, Chris, I don't want to eat my vegetables, ma'am. And his mom's like, no, no, you have to eat your vegetables if you want to be a good senator. But you know, he's a he's a stubborn, I guess. You know how old men are with their vegetables, and you know. It's good for your health, McCain. You should eat these delicious vegetables. Oh my goodness, I am getting a call. One second, folks. One second. Daniel Rogers, you have interrupted me in the middle of a tutorial. How do you feel? He seemed to have hung up. Oh, he's a calling again. Let's see. How it is, folks. Daniel Rogers, you have interrupted me in the middle of a tutorial. How do you feel? Oh, I'm good. Actually, I have something to tell you. Oh, okay. Please do, because you are on the air right now. Tell the viewers what you think. What was that, Daniel? Wait, who is? Okay, well, Daniel, I gotta wrap up this tutorial. I will call you back in one second. Okay. Okay, goodbye. And that was Daniel Rogers, everybody, on an unrelated note. So, bake back to the tutorial. <laughs> um, sorry about that, actually. Uh, yeah, that's basically what you want to do. Uh, magic wand tool, select, uh, select inverse, and then, yeah, that's just an easy way of making selections. You could use the pen tool. There are also lots of other ways to make selections or the quick selection tool which is basically just like a pen version of this um, so that's basically it just it's kind of a more in-depth tutorial for a pretty basic tool um, that's basically it folks so comment subscribe thumbs up this video even though it does not matter anymore and uh, we're planning on putting out a let's play every other day now and I'm trying to put out as many tutorials as I can. Marty's going to be putting up a tutorial hopefully sometime this week as well on pretty cool effect that he has told me and I will not disclose right now but keep your eyes and ears and nostrils tuned for that one and I will see you beautiful folks next time. Goodbye.